Well, look who decided to make an appearance, Potter Puffs. I have had a week and a half with Geek Gear. I have had enough of this company. Now, I am not sponsored by them at all, and I will tell you my true experience with this company. Now, as you know, I absolutely love the products they do. I get very excited about my box turning up every single month. I love opening it, and I'm normally very excited when I open it. But this month has been a nightmare. I've emailed them four times. I have sent them five Facebook messages. I've had to go to my Twitter page and publicize how bad their customer service is and on my Instagram. And so many of you have had the same experience. I asked for a refund yesterday. I wasn't given one. I was told that I could have one if I returned the box and they know full well that I want the box. And I've just had no sorries. I had one sorry on Twitter. It's really not good enough. Unfortunately, I know most of the items in this box, so it's not a mystery box anymore. I will enjoy opening it. Um, I am going to continue to subscribe because I love unboxing these on my channel. And I know that Loot Crate aren't much better with their customer service and apparently not Gobstone Alley. So we're just gonna stick with this one, but if it happens again, I am going to have to change. Now I hope you guys have had a really good week, so let's get straight on with the unboxing. I know most of you have now seen all the products because it's about two weeks after some of you released your videos, but hopefully you'll still enjoy my take on the box. So let's do the magical or non-magical tape. <sighs> Went well this time at least. Oh, they remembered that I'm a yellow house, that's good. So I have got half a half of tissue paper. I'll try to be less sarcastic. We have a t-shirt. No way. I do already know what this is, guys. Now on the top, we have Lupin and his wolf form. I do like this design, but I must say, of all the tops I would have chosen, it wouldn't have been this one, just because I don't like walking around with characters on me too much. I did like Newt. He's a Hufflepuff, guys. Okay, let me off for that one. But Lupin, mm, I'd probably wear this around the house, but I wouldn't probably wear it out. kind of cool. So we have something Hufflepuff. We have, and I didn't know about this item, which is a novelty, some Hufflepuff tie socks. Now I have some similar ones, but they are trainer socks. So I like the fact that these are long socks and they have the house tie. I can never have too many Hufflepuff socks. So let's get this out to show you a bit closer. Oh, I'm very happy with something I see though. I'm still very much annoyed at Geek Gear, very, very much, but this has made it up to me just a tiny bit because I've been looking for this in the shops for a very long time and I've never found it. Now my local Sainsbury's started stocking Harry Potter stationery, which I was really, really happy about, but they didn't stock this one item and Geek Gear has given it to me. Okay, I'm a little bit happier now. The Weasley pen. I love anything Weasley and Weasley and I don't have this pen and I love it. I did really, really want this, and it's got like a spinning bit at the top. It says Weasley Authentic. That is cool. I am very happy that I have this. Oh, now this is an item I did find out about, but I forgot about it, and now I'm very happy because another thing that I did actually really want was a wax stamp kit. Haven't got around to buying the Hufflepuff one yet. So this is a handcrafted house wax stamp kit. This does look very cool. Let's get it out. Ooh. Cute. So it has come in a cute little box. It's got the loyalty stamp, which is gonna be hard to show you, which is on the cushion cover that we've had and also the house banner. So that's cool. And then we have a stick of wax. I've never used a wax seal kit before. That is cool. I don't even know how these work, but that is really nice. And I will definitely be trying that out. Next giveaway, I will do a stamp envelope probably. We have some cutters. We have a golden snitch. That's nice. 
kind of a weird shape. It's a bit too triangly there. I would have brought that in a bit, but I guess for a cookie you have to have it kind of wide because it would snap in the oven. But that's nice. And then this one's my favourite. We have a sorting hat. Nice metal cutters, at least. And lastly, what is this? I don't actually know. Maybe I'm being dumb, but I can't tell what that is. Is it a cat? A lion? A lion? I, I don't actually know, Potter Puffs. I'm gonna have to look in the leaflet in a minute. Oh wait, I can see the recipe card here. These are for magical butter cookies, and it's for an owl. I see it now, you just have to make the face. That's cool. So owl, sorting hat, and golden snitch. I like this, fever fudge, which is a Wheezy's Wizard Wheezy's recipe. Wouldn't like to try this in real life, but it's like a puking pastille, I guess, and butterscotch fudge. So all sweet treats, I look forward to putting them in my recipe folder, which I hope I'm going to continue, because if next month's box doesn't arrive on time, I'm not going to be happy. And now this is a new idea I've never seen before. We've got some house tie pins. So I'm actually collecting Hufflepuff pins and I want to have a whole Hufflepuff pin board. So these will go very nicely on there. I'll do another Instagram photo of them on there soon. There's more in this box than I remembered. Now here we have a wand and on it, I do know about this, it says to Ron, tried fixing your wand, hope it works okay, love mum. Now we know what's coming, don't we? Let's have a look. Ron's broken wand. This is quite cool because we have the original Ron's wand and now we have his taped wand, which is kind of clear in the middle. I like this, it is different. And I, I'm not much of a wand collector. I don't really collect the wands, but I have got a few from Geek Gear now and that's where I've got them. And this one is nice. I like the way they've made the tape look old around it. They have done a good job. I'm feeling like I can't give them a good review this month just because of how badly they've treated me, but I do still love the product, so it's difficult for me to review it this month. Like, if you were asking me whether to buy this box, I'd say yes because of the items, but no because of the customer service, so you take the risk with that. You do get the box, it seems, but whenever they feel like sending it to you. This is lovely. It's a picture of Fawkes, and Fawkes is definitely one of my favourite Harry Potter characters or creatures. So that would look lovely on my wall. It's very colourful. Fawkes is just beautiful and stunning. So there we have it. The box I've waited ages for. Was it worth the wait? I guess so. Am I happy about what's happened? No, I'm not. I really feel that I've been treated badly and that's why this video isn't as happy as my usual unboxings. Just telling you the truth there, Potter Puffs. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item is though and what kind of experience you've had with Geek Gear because I did a poll on Instagram and over 59% of you said that you'd had a bad experience, which is totally awful in my opinion. So onto the leaflet. So we have Ron's Broken Wand, Weasley multicolour pen, magical cookie cutters, cookbook recipes, house pin set according to your house, and wax stamp set according to your house, house tie socks, looping t-shirt, and a phoenix print. So I am happy with what's in the box and how much I've got. Some people didn't like it. Now, in terms of items, I do like it, other than I'm not a massive fan of the cookie cutters or the t-shirt. My favorite items were definitely the pin set and this pen along with the wax seal kit. So I got three favorites there. I keep buying these boxes because I like to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, finally showing you the items that I got. Please do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, a comment down below and a subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon Potter Puffs. Have an amazing weekend. Bye.